Number 26, the pendulum on a cuckoo clock is five centimeters long. What is its frequency? All right, so first thing is they're telling us the length of the pendulum's arm, right? L, I'm gonna re, I'm going to put that into uh, meters though, all right? So this is gonna be 0.05 uh, meters. That's the length of the pendulum's arm. Now, in the prior videos, like number 22 to now, uh, we've been talking about this in detail, right? That if you know the length of a pendulum's arm, you will know its period. Why? Well, because the formula for a pendulum is this, that the period of a pendulum's oscillation t is equal to two pi multiplied by the square root of the length of that pendulum's arm divided by g. All you gotta know is length, and that will determine the period, okay? So why don't we do that? Now you might say, well, wait, 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 it's asking for frequency, Andrew, I know, but let's just calculate this to start, and then let's see where we can go from there, all right? Because if I know L, I can solve for T, so that's probably going to be useful. So let's just solve it. T is equal to then two pi multiplied by the square root of the length of 0 0.05, all divided by gravity 9.8. So let's plug it on into the calculator. So this is going to be two pi, times in the square root of 0 0.05 divided by 9.8. And here we go, it's going to, period's about 0 0.449, 449 seconds, okay? That's the time it would take for uh, one swing or one oscillation or one cycle, whatever you wanna call it. Now, it's asking us not for the period, but for the frequency. So now your, your, your gears, the gears change. You're saying to yourself, well, now I know the period, how can I connect the period to the frequency? And again, you want to think through formulas and, oh, right, we have a very simple formula that the frequency is equal to 1 over the period. It's just the inverse. So basically, this is just another simple plug-in. So it's just 1 divided by 0.449. And remember what these values mean. The period is the time it takes for one cycle, one oscillation, one swing. And the frequency, then, is the inverse of that. Basically, it's saying... The number of cycles or the number of swings or the number of oscillations per single second. So if this is how long, just assume that this is the case. If a half a second is the time it takes for one full swing, a half a second, right, one full swing, how many swings are there in a full second? Well, you'll say two, right? If, it, if a full swing is a half a second, then one full second would have two swings. And you'd be right. That would be the frequency. That's the relationship between the two. Now notice this is a little less than a half, so I should expect a little more than two when I plug when I calculate the frequency. So why don't we actually do it? One divided by the 0 0.449 is about 2.22. Look at that. Or 2.23 considering rounding. And that's known as hertz. In other words, hertz is basically the unit of uh, seconds minus one. But uh, you can also reinterpret this as hertz being cycles per second. That's fine too. All right, that all kind of means the same thing. This has a little richer detail. If you just think about it as per second, it's like, well, what per second, right? Cycles, oscillations, you know, uh, swings, whatever you want to call it. All right, guys? Cool. So that's the that's the answer. I didn't box it in, but that is, that is the answer. Now that's the frequency. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Please remember to subscribe. See you next time. Take care.